everyone. This is Desiree. Today I'm going to do another journal page. I am going to be featuring this Monteverde Olivine ink um, that I got a sample from Goulet Pens. It's a really beautiful mossy green color um, and I'm liking to use the inks in the same way that I use watercolor often as the header color for the page. I always like to add a little bit of water um, to the inks in the same way as the watercolor and let them flow uh, down a little bit. I like the the look of the the ink um, after I use a little water with it. So I put that down on on the edges there on the top and bottom. And I'm getting ready to do a little bit of journaling with this color. I always like to kind of pick out the colors together. Um, so today I've got a few different things uh, that I'm going to add um, while keeping space for the journal writing portion, of course. Uh, I'm pulling out some of these. Um, I love these transparent flowers again. I'm sorry I don't remember where I got these from. I think they're fairly easy to find. Uh, online if you if you just look up transparent flower stickers so I picked out some leaves there and then I'm gonna pick out um, a flower with it I'm going to be adding um, this little photo um, sticker um, and I well, this was a part of a watercolor that I did and I use this HP sprocket uh, to print out my little photos um, so I, I put a lot of little photos into the journal pages from that. Um, so I'm putting that in and noticed that um, some of that green grass is the uh, very similar color to the ink that I chose. Uh, so I, I do kind of color coordinate. <laughs> so putting down, uh, I'm trying to decide where I want to put everything, but I picked out a couple um, things that I want to add there. Just adding that in. So if you like to journal, please uh, join me in this journaling session and have fun playing around with your colors and stickers and photos and whatever you have there. So I'm going to add this flower now. And I think I'm going to choose another one there to put in. So. so after I finish with the flowers, uh, I think I'm going to be grabbing some washi tape. I like to put washi tape in pretty much every single um, journal page. And I think I'm going to be putting it in as kind of a frame to this one. I think this was a Japanese uh, washi tape. I like it. It. It reminds me of uh, kind of a Japanese design for sure. Um, so I'm just going to add that in. Let me know in the comments um, if you uh, would like to see any um, anything in particular with these journal pages. Uh, or if you... Um, have some particular uh, style or techniques that you like to use on yours, um, please let me know. All right. I think that's pretty much done. So I don't have this uh, Monteverde Olivine or Olivine um, ink inked up in any fountain pen right now so i am going to uh, use the ink that's in the little caveco sport that i pulled out um it's a cartridge and it's caramel brown and i like that color um i did actually just order a converter so that um, that i have more of an array of options <laughs> i do like being able to choose from samples and and bottles uh, and not be quite so limited um, with with cartridges only, but um, but it's a nice 
it's a nice color so I'm probably going to change it out here in a little bit. I really need to um, do a little bit of rotating with all of the inks in my pens. They've been in there for a couple weeks for sure. Uh, the, the inks that are in the Twisbees, I just feel like those can just stay in there for a long time without drying out. Uh, but I should probably change everything out. Um, I'm going to be bringing home some um, some vintage pens here in a few weeks uh, from my dad's. He had a, a collection of mostly old Schaefer's, probably from the 1960s or, or something, uh, and didn't know I was interested. And I mentioned that I was really um, interested in doing a lot with uh, fountain pens and inks, and he reminded me that he had like 10 or 12 of them. So I'm kind of excited uh, they've been dried out for many years, though, so we'll see. Uh, I'll get there and, and wash them out really good and see if I can get some of them to work again. Anyway, I hope I hope that at least some of them uh, do. So it will be fun to look at all the different um, different pens when I get there. So um, I think I'm at the... Just about at the end of this top portion of the writing here. Gonna finish that up. And I think um I think I add in my header um day of the week. And I always use that Tambo um food no suke little um brush pen for that, that top portion. I'm adding that in now. And now I'm just finishing up this bottom section here. I really actually had a lot of fun uh, doing the watercolor the other day. So I'm talking about that. It was a gift for, for a very good friend. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.